Hey everyone, Levi here with Trident Fly Fishing, and today we're going to be tying a lightning bug. Solid nymph pattern developed by Larry Graham. Does a really good job at imitating slim bodied mayflies. It's an effective attractor pretty much anywhere you take it. It's got a lot of nice flash and it carries a good profile in the water. So let's get started with an Arex FW561 hook in the vise. This is a size 12, but you can tie this fly all the way down into the 20s and probably up into about a size 10 or so. So let's lay a thread base down right behind the bead. We got a gold bead on there. And we'll take this thread right to the bend of the hook. And for thread, we're using A dot unithread. This is the color camel. You get away with brown thread. Black thread would work just the same. So bring that right on back to your bead, or I'm sorry, not your bead, bend of the hook, and uh, clip off the excess, and bring your thread about 20% eh, of the way up. Here we have a nice male pheasant tail, and we'll go ahead and grab uh, four or five fibers. I don't like a really bulky tail, considering there's really no nymph out there in the natural world that has any more than three tails, so. I just like to get that to be as realistic as possible. So let's even those up, and we're gonna measure this out to be about the length of the hook shank, and we'll tie it in right on top of the hook. Pin trap to secure it, and then we'll wind it on back, and you can reposition if you need to. So bring this thread right on up to about where the bead starts, just to create profile on this fly, and you can snip the excess when you get there. From here, we'll advance our thread rearward, and we'll stop it about halfway. And from there, we will move into some mylar tinsel. This is gold, but we're gonna go with the back side of it for silver, so cut yourself off four or five inches. So we'll tie this in with the gold side facing us. Get that in. I like to put it on the side, but location doesn't wholly matter. Get that wrapped right in front of the tail, and then we'll put some silver wire in there. We're using ultra wire, size medium, color silver. Go ahead and I like to rip it off. Just save your scissors. You probably have an expensive pair of scissors in your hand. Save them the, uh, the trouble there. Get that tied in. If you were tying a smaller fly, you'd probably want to use small, but I just like the way that this medium size segments on this uh, size 12 hook. All right, so wind that all the way back and then advance your thread forward and we will just begin wrapping our wire. You want nice, consistent wraps that don't touch or that don't uh, have any gaps or doesn't show your thread. I mean, the fish probably won't care at the end of the day, but it usually just tends to make me a little happier with my overall fly if we have a nice profile to it and consistency. So get that tied in once you've wrapped your body. And we can snip off the excess. And we're gonna go ahead and rib this with the ultra wire. I'm gonna do this counter clockwise to counter rivet. This aids in durability and it also gives a look of segmentation to this fly which is a common characteristic of just about all nymphs out there. So bring that up and get it tied down right where your thorax is going to start. So now I'm just going to clean up this thorax, get this bead secured with some thread before we move on to our wing case and the legs. For a wing case, we're using Vivas Pearl Tinsel. This is a size small. You could use medium if you want a wider wing case. Just cut yourself off. You only need about an inch, inch and a half. That might even be too much, considering the wing case is only going to be up here. It doesn't look amiss. Check it. And all the materials that we're working with today can be found at tridentflyfishing.com. And orders over 49 bucks do ship for free. So 
feel free to take advantage of that. This is a fly you can fish all year round without fail. I'm gonna move into some peacock curl right here. And we uh, probably only need two strands. You can probably get it done with one, but if you use two, it just tends to be a little fuller. So I'm gonna just cut the uh, tips off because those are always quite brittle and a pain to work with. So now we're gonna move in with two peacock hurl strands and we'll get those tied in just right where that mylar ends and our wing case begins. Get that tightly wound in. We'll just start to wrap this forward. And you want these to be nice and even, or nice and close together. So you have that bulk in the thorax that is a common characteristic of most nymphs out there. If you were tying a smaller fly, you could probably get away with just one strand, but this is a size 12 hook, so two gets the job done a little better. So secure your peacock, throw a whip or a half hitch in there real quick, just so that if something goes wrong, we don't have to retie our peacock curl in. That's never fun. See, there it is. Thank God we did that half hitch. Reapply our thread, snip the excess, and we're good to go. Now we're gonna move back into these pheasant tail fibers. And just like I was saying for the tail, pretty much all mayflies tend to have three legs on either side of their body. So I try to maintain that realism. We'll throw a four in there on either side, just so that way if you lose one, you have a backup. But I don't like a lot of, a lot of fibers in the uh, leg region, especially whenever we're working with these little bigger materials like pheasant tail. Measure that to extend just beyond the peacock curl and then tie it in on the side nearest you first and you can adjust if need be. Again, four fibers is plenty. These are good, make sure they're even. And we'll measure them against these fibers just to get the same length. And we'll just tie them on like we did on the side facing us. Just a pinch wrap or two. And you can look at this from the top, make sure they match up, and you're happy with them. All right. So, a few wraps. And we can snip off this excess here. So now, pull your wing case directly on top, tie it in just behind the bead. Make sure it's straight, adjust if need be, and then just a few securing wraps there. And I'll throw a half hitch in, this fly's almost done. Clip that, and now I'll put it with a whip finish. That is a lightning bug. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all next time.